a very good day to all of you today i am going to discuss the stages of evolution of money in the last session i had covered the barter system and its difficulties so to overcome the difficulties of the barter system the money was evolved in different stages so in today session i will discuss the various stages of evolution of money the evolution of money has passed through the following stages as the word money is derived from the latin word moneta which was the surname of roman goddess of juno and the origin of money was lost so even in the primitive stage man had some sort of money and the time of money differed on the nature of man and their livelihood like in the hunting stage the spines of animals was used as money in the pastoral society the livestock were used as money in the agricultural society the grains and food stuffs was used as money and in the greeks money was used as coin so following stages are evaluated there are five stages for the evolution of money stage 1 stage 2 stage 3 stage 4 and stage 5 in stage 1 the commodity money was evolved in stage 2 metallic money in stage 3 paper money in stage 4 credit money and in stage 5 plastic money the first stage includes the commodity money in the earliest period of human civilization any commodity that was generally demanded and chosen by common consent was used as money goods like furs skins salt rice wheat utensils weapons etc were commonly used as money and such exchange of goods for goods was known as barter exchange as you can see in the image the goods are used for exchange and these are in the form of commodity salt cow fish is exchanged against the rice or the wheat following defects can be found with the use of commodity as a money so first defect was found is difficulty to store so it was difficult to store such commodities second defects was found is the difficulty in portability that means to port from one place to another was not an easy task another defect of the commodity money was the problem of indivisibility so if the people want a fish against cow so the value of fish is not much as of cow and cow can't be broken into two pieces next defect was no uniformity in quality so there was no uniformity was found in terms of quality of the commodity and the last defect was found of uncertain supply another stage of evolution of money was the metallic money and with the progress of human civilization commodity money changed into metallic money metals like gold silver copper etc were used 
as they could be easily handled and their quantity can be easily ascertained it was the main form of money throughout the major portion of recorded history as with the increasing trade relations many countries started using gold silver copper tin etc as money and metal was made into coins of predetermined weight and gold coins were melted in order to earn more profit by selling it as a metal these are the images of the money that was used in the second stage as you can see the coins of gold silver copper and a solid gold knife these were the money that was used in second stage and all these money were made up of metals in the second stage also there were certain defects found while using the metallic items as a money the first defect was found is unsafe and inconvenience to carry so at that time it was unsafe and inconvenient to carry the precious metals made up of gold silver copper another defect was found expensive as the metals are expensive so metallic money was very expensive the third defects that was found in second stage was being heavy it is difficult to carry from one place to another place the fourth and last defect that was found in stage 2 is not possible to change supply as per the requirement of the nation so the third stage of evolution of money is the paper money it was found inconvenient as well as dangerous to carry gold and silver coins from one place to another so invention of paper money marked a very important stage in the development of money and the development of paper money is started with gold smiths who used to keep golds and issued a receipt promising to return the gold on demand it led to the development of bank notes and the bank notes later on were issued by the central bank of the country as the paper money is regulated and controlled by the central bank of the country so that is the rbi in india and at present a very large part of money consists mainly of currency notes or paper money issued by the reserve bank of india you can see the images of paper money that was used in stage 3 and at present also it is used in form of rupee now the fourth stage of evolution of money is the credit money the emergence of credit money took place almost side by side with that of paper money people keep a part of their cash as deposits with banks which they can withdraw at their convenience through checks checks were used and at present also checks are used as money it is like a banknote and it transfer the money from one place to another check is a written order to transfer the money and nowadays large transactions are made through checks only so the check is known as credit money or bank money itself is not money but it performs the same functions as 
money. You can see the image of check that is used nowadays. And the last stage of evolution of money is the plastic money and this is the fifth stage of evolution of money. The latest type of money is plastic money and it is used in form of credit cards and debit cards. They aim at removing the need for carrying cash to make transactions. This is an image of debit cards and credit cards which is used nowadays by the number of people to do the transactions. Thank you everyone. That's all for today. Today we had discussed the evolution of money and its stages. Thank you.